Hey Kitty, how are you? Hope you're doing okay. Today, I challenge you to a duel. I'm only kidding. But I am challenging you to something, which is to try the off-brand Gyaru challenge. I didn't actually own a single brand item until about one or two years after I started Gal, but I managed to survive without and one of the key things I did was to replicate my favourite Gyaru outfits. Now this is something that other girls have talked about. I know that Emmy has talked about it a lot on her channel as well. Replicating outfits is just such a good idea, especially if you're starting out, because it will help show you how Gyaru put things together and make an outfit Gyaru. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a few outfits that I put together that are inspired by other outfits. This video will consist of like a few videos mushed together because I'm lazy <laughs> and I couldn't be bothered to wear all the outfits in one sitting. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'll introduce the first outfit. Yes, everything from head to toe is off-brand, including these wigs. So right now I'm wearing two ponytail wigs with a half wig on top of that. I bought these from AliExpress and I wanna give a shout out to Lynn because she actually linked me these wigs and I think they just blend so well even though they're from different shops. So yes, AliExpress, this necklace is also from AliExpress. These earrings, again, AliExpress. And this dress, so I'm gonna get up now <laughs> and show you. Ah. Yes. Ta -ta. So this is my Kill Star dress. Jesus Diamante staff actually wore black dresses in Hime Gyaru. Hime Gyaru isn't all about pink and pretty sparkly outfit. This is just the general vibe. <laughs> okay, so dress, Kill Star. Tights are from eBay? No, AliExpress. Uh, either eBay or Aliexpress, it's one of those. And then, because you cannot see my beautiful shoes in this video, I'm gonna show you. I am wearing these gorgeous flats because as you know, I am terrible when it comes to wearing heels. So I've dedicated my life to just finding cute flat shoes now. So these are from Shein. And, oh, okay, I might as well show you my bag. This is the bag that I'm going to be pairing this outfit with. It's from uh, Marks and Spencers. Yeah, I, I don't really have like a Hime bag in black to go with this outfit, but I think this looks kind of cute anyway. So yeah, this is the first off-brand Gyaru outfit. Fit. Also, before I show you like all the other outfits, um, I want to ask you, pretty please, can you let me know which one's your favorite outfit? And because this is a challenge, I would love to see you try this as well. I'm pretty sure Georgie did this like a similar challenge on her blog, but I cannot remember, so I'm really sorry, Georgie, if I've stolen your idea. But yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to hearing what you think. Now I'm gonna stop rambling and let's move on to the next outfit. This next outfit is from when I went out with Isabel and it's inspired by um, an outfit from the Liz Lisa, I think it was the 2010 spring collection. And if you broke it down into really simple terms, it is basically a white maxi dress with a denim shirt and some cowboy boots. The denim shirt was from Primark, the dress was from somewhere, I can't remember, sorry. And the boots were from eBay. Um, my accessories were a mixture from eBay and AliExpress and the hat was just a plain hat from eBay which I then just added a flower crown onto it to make it look a little bit more interesting. Hey cutie, so this is yet another off-brand outfit. Let's just take a moment to acknowledge just how messy my hair is today. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the outfit. Quite a lot of Gyaru would often combine their outfits with like 
Disney characters or Hello Kitty. So today I am wearing my Hello Kitty t-shirt. Actually, let me just back up so you can see the full outfit. So here, as you can see, I'm combined, like, I'm going for a more casual look today, which, you know, I feel like not a lot of people realize that you can, like, there is a casual side to get it. The t-shirt is from Amazon. I think it is from that Sanrio store. And then these are from, I want to say Boohoo. It's one of those shops anyway. And then because you won't be able to see my feet properly, I'm wearing these shoes which i got from shein and then my accessories are from either aliexpress or ebay or claire's accessory okay let me just quickly do one of those spin around things so that you can admire the overall outfit And that's the end of this video. I really hope that this has shown you that you do not need brand to be gal. Like you do not have to be dressed in head to toe in Mars or in Dyer or in Alba Rosa to be considered gal. You do not have to be over the top all the time, but you do need to have the fundamentals. You do need to do your research to figure out what makes an outfit get you. I'm gonna put my hands up and say, I love brand. Like I honestly cannot live without brand, but if you are starting out, do not feel daunted by the idea that you have to have brand. You can work with what you have in your wardrobe. You just gotta learn how to style everything together. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please let me know as well, what outfit was your favorite? And if you have ever replicated outfits before to help you on your Gero journey. Other than that, I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Love you, bye.